This program is brought to you by Emory University. There are two broad categories of stroke. There is what is called ischemic stroke. That is when the brain is deprived of blood supply. The human brain requires a constant supply of well oxygenated blood. And if it's interrupted for more than a few moments, the brain begins working inappropriately or quits working, if you will. If the brain goes for more than a few minutes without blood, it actually dies because unlike other organs in the body, the brain does not have the ability to store oxygen and glucose. It gets it from the bloodstream. A second type of stroke is called hemorrhagic stroke, and that's when there is actually bleeding into the brain or the space around the brain. And that can occur from a variety of conditions such as chronic high blood pressure, which can weaken arteries in the brain and cause hemorrhages. One of the more common causes of bleeding into or around the space uh, of the brain are brain aneurysms, weak spots on the wall of a blood vessel that balloon out and can burst and bleed. A hemorrhagic stroke, where there is actually bleeding into the brain or the space around the brain, typically presents with a sudden onset of the worst headache of one's life. Uh, if one has to wonder whether their aneurysm bled, for example, it probably didn't. It's usually an unmistakable event. Sometimes a brain aneurysm can cause symptoms prior to rupturing and bleeding. If an aneurysm is enlarging prior to bleeding, it can put pressure on cranial nerves within the brain and cause double vision or altered vision. And on, on rare occasions, that can be a warning sign. But usually it's a sudden onset of a severe headache. Ischemic strokes, strokes caused by a lack of blood flow to the brain, are frequently preceded by what's called a transient ischemic attack, or a TIA. A TIA is simply the symptoms that are produced when the brain temporarily goes without an adequate supply of blood. They're characterized by transient episodes of maybe numbness or weakness on one side of the body, transient loss of vision in one eye or the other, temporary inability to speak properly or garbled speech, temporary symptoms of unsteadiness or dizziness that come and go. And unfortunately, many people are not aware that those are the, the warning signs of stroke and they ignore them. Uh, and when those occur, patients really should urgently see their physician uh, to be evaluated because oftentimes these warning signs uh, portend a much more uh, severe and permanent stroke in the near future. And oftentimes there are things we can do to reduce that risk or even eliminate that risk if the symptoms are recognized and treated appropriately. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.